Hello, my name is Christina and I'm a pediatric pharmacist here at Orlando Health Arnold Palmer Hospital for Children. I'm going to talk to you today about an oral antifungal that your child will be taking at home. This antifungal is in a group of antifungal medications called the Azoles, which includes fluconazole, itraconazole, foriconazole, and posiconazole. This medication is needed to treat your child's fungal infection or prevent future infections. It is very important that your child takes every single dose of the antifungal at the appropriate time to make sure that there is enough of the medication in your child's body to kill or treat the fungus and prevent infection. The amount of times to take the medication per day depends on the specific medication. Review the label on the prescription bottle to ensure that you understand the dosing instructions. Have your child take the medication at the same time every day, ideally in evenly spaced intervals. If the formulation of the antifungal that your child will be taking at home is liquid, make sure to give each dose with an accurate measuring device such as an oral syringe. Do not use a household teaspoon or tablespoon as these are not accurate measuring devices for medication administration. Certain medications in this class need to be taken with food, so make sure to discuss administration specific instructions with your doctor or pharmacist. It is necessary to shake some liquid antifungals before measuring out the dose, so please check the label for instructions that will tell you to shake well if this is needed. The posiconazole delayed release suspension is a powder mix kit packet that must be mixed and given within an hour using the provided blue or green syringe. If your child will be taking the posiconazole delayed release suspension at home, make sure to only use the provided syringe to draw up the dose and discuss mixing and administration with your nurse or pharmacist to make sure that you fully understand these instructions. The most common side effect for this class of medications includes stomach pain, nausea, vomiting, headache, dizziness, respiratory infections, rash, visual changes, changes in taste, changes in heart rate, fever, and swelling or puffiness. If you think that your child is experiencing one of these side effects or a severe allergic reaction such as anaphylaxis presenting as hives, swelling, or trouble breathing, it's very important to seek medical attention right away. If your child is taking this medication for a long period of time, they may require blood work as an outpatient to monitor necessary laboratory values such as electrolytes and liver function, or even medication levels in the blood. So make sure to follow up with your physician to make any necessary appointments. Make sure that your doctor knows of any new medications that your child starts on while on this medication as there are many drug interactions and it's very important that they are taking the correct dose of all medications. Females of childbearing age should be sure to use effective contraception to avoid pregnancy while taking this medication and for at least two months after the last dose. If your child misses a dose of the medication, give the missed dose as soon as you remember. However, if it is almost time for the next dose, skip the missed dose and return to your regular schedule. Do not double doses or take extra doses. When you get home, keep the medication in a dry place away from heat or moisture at room temperature. This class of antifungals is extremely helpful to prevent or treat fungal infections. Make sure to listen closely to the instructions described by your doctor so that you know if or when your child needs to return to the emergency room or be seen by their primary care physician. Please let your nurse, doctor, or pharmacist know if you have any questions at all about this medication. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.